Welcome to Let's Meet, produced by the WCICO. I'm your host, Alex. In this episode, we focus on the 2024 Belton Road Journalist Forum, presenting a special program, Expand the Path of Opportunities, Share the Bright Future. In this vibrant August, we are celebrating the grand opening of the 2024 Belton Road Journalist Forum. Representatives and media officials from nearly 100 journalist organizations across 50 countries and regions gather in Chongqing as a connecting point for the Belt and Road Initiative and the Yangtze River Economic Belt. Chongqing has recently been given a new role as a key strategic hub for the Western development in the new era and an inland open comprehensive hub. Over the course of the week-long forum, both Chinese and international journalists experience Chongqing's vibrant development driven by a dual engines of openness and innovation. Through on-site visits and first-hand experiences, let's follow the lenses of these foreign media to explore Chongqing. Chongqing, a mega city, is an area of 82,400 square kilometers and a population of 32 million. It's best understood through the Chongqing Planning Exhibition. Behind me here is a model replica of this mega city. It's the first stop for our journalists to learn about Chongqing, so we'll start our journey here. Bulgaria. This is my third time to China, but it's my first time to this city here. And this place here, I really enjoyed it. For less than an hour, I learned a lot about the history of the city, about the, the landscape, about the culture, everything. At some point, I really felt like I was in some kind of a movie and um, in some kind of different reality. We have a lot to learn from you, and I hope that in future we will have a lot of cooperation. The element is, uh, that impacted me the most in the design and planning of uh, Chongqing uh, are the use of the, the, the bridges, the wise use of the rivers, and the wise utilization of the uh, ecosystem. Chongqing people, the Chongqing municipality, keeping the ecosystem very natural way. So this is very, very different for me. In this bustling urban traffic of Chongqing, Elizabeth Station stands out as a unique feature here. Trains pass through the building. This design cleverly integrates urban rail transit with commercial architecture, becoming a symbol of Chongqing and attracting countless domestic and international visitors. How will journalists record this unique urban landscape? Let's find out. Well, it was something unbelievable. I, I don't know, the architect, he has a very big imagination to do this. And all the workers, the job is done perfectly. And I hope that soon we can see this in more cities in China and also around the world. Absolutely amazing just to be here, to, to know uh, your technology, how you develop absolutely your country. You build it this over the buildings, in the, inside the buildings, and we go. We may go through the river. It's very nice, very nice view. House Swa. Located in Tuanjia Village, Shopingba District, Chongqing, the international logistics hub is a starting point for the China Europe Railway Express and the new international land sea trade corridor. It's not only the start of logistic arteries, but also a crucial gateway for Chongqing and China's manufacturing industry to the world. Precision machinery, smart devices, and various products made in Chongqing gather here, transported by efficient logistic trains to Europe, Southeast Asia, and beyond. The story of Chongqing products going global starts here. Come 
to the Chongqing International Logistics Hub Park, the main gateway for China Europe Railway Express and the new International Land Sea Trade Corridor. Now join the journalists and discover how Chongqing is shaping the future of logistics. I think it is one of the best in the world and uh, I think that we can uh, use this uh, as a, a strategic point uh, to spread uh, and also at the same time to develop not only China and our region but also the rest of the world. Uh, I asked about the goods and uh, the cars specific because uh, elect uh, electric cars are uh, very famous in Egypt right now. Of course, not, not, not only the car, so many goods in Egypt are very famous from China. Because China now is the, the second uh, big economy in the world. So this is what I uh, talk about, that uh, we need to more development, more cooperation to have the, uh, more benefit to the two countries and the two people. Next, the journalist's journey will delve into the Chongqing Highway Logistics Base where they will personally observe how Chongqing's logistics operates efficiently and transport goods to all corners of the globe. The Chongqing Highway Logistics Base is focused on developing a national logistics hub as a headquarter for ASEAN trade services. The base has attracted over 80 leading companies, including JD.com and FS Express, with over 6,000 market entities forming five major industry clusters, professional markets, e-commerce, comprehensive logistics, international trade, and food and agriculture product process. Uh, I just seen on the screen that uh, Chongqing uh, will uh, transport uh, products from China to Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. That's very uh, impressive because we have a long route uh, to have our products coming to Mauritius. And if it is through China, it's a bit easier uh, for us to have our products quickly. Uh, I think uh, this logistic part is uh, interesting because there's a lot of products coming from Asian countries coming here and from here. It's going to the whole world. Yeah, it's impressive. These kind of products, the wooden products, um, promotion people look for these kind of products, but it's very expensive in our country. It's because of freight price. And if the route is uh, easier, it's uh, shorter uh, for, for the products to come to Mauritius in the Indian Ocean, I think the price will reduce. Chongqing, a major automotive production hub, saw its car production soar to 1.214 million units in the first half of this year, earning the title China's Car Capital. How was this achievement made? Journalists will visit Great Wall Motors Chongqing Smart Factory in Yongchuan, the largest pickup truck manufacturing plant in the country, to uncover the secrets of Chongqing's automotive industry reaching the top. The journalists from around the world are experiencing the latest parts of Great Wall Motor, with China's auto exporting into the Belt and Road Initiative countries. The corporation depends. Let's find out what the journalists think about it. I think I'm impressive to be here on the manufacturing plant of the Great Wall Cars because various models of this production, car production, are very popular in Russia. The level of automatization, the level of production growth, the level of, um, as I would say, modernity, modernization of the production is impressing a lot. And no doubt that uh, the results of uh, integrity of these parts of the processes uh, they will be impressive, very impressive on the world level for the next many, many years in the future. I am sure that the cooperation between our industries will continue and uh, both Chinese and Russian companies will work together for the good of our people. In the transformation from made in China to intelligent manufacturing in China, Chongqing brands have embraced the trend and embarked on the fast track of upgrading. They have successfully entered a new stage of high quality development. Amid this wave of change, how will Chongqing made smart cars with global users favor through continuous innovation? Let's follow 
the perspective of journalists to Chang'an Automotive Global R&D Center and find out. A Chinese EV is showing its automatic parking feature right behind me. Journalists from across the globe have gathered to see this cutting-edge technology in action in Chang'an Automobile R&D Center in Chongqing, Liangjiang New Area. unique experience. I've been to around 50 countries and I think none of them is in a, a place that we can compare to what I'm seeing here. I have seen at Mexico that we are receiving a lot of equipment, a lot of uh, cars and SUVs at Mexico and they have been sold, you, need. you know, yeah, at Mexico, yeah. They, they, are, um, they are arriving to Mexico, opening a huge market to be sold. I think they, they will be successful at Mexico, also the, the sales of uh, electrical cars, Chang'an electrical cars at Mexico, for sure, it will be. To get a glimpse of what the future in Chongqing looks like, you must visit the Intelligent Connected Vehicles Demonstration Zone in the Western Chongqing Science City. Here, Intelligent Connected Vehicles not only feature the most advanced autonomous driving technology, but also incorporate eco-friendly and energy-saving design concepts. They can change lanes and overtake with precision without manual control. How will the foreign media journalists view this city of the future? The demonstration zone for intelligent connected vehicles in Western China, Chongqing, Science City to foster a cutting edge environment for the development and testing of intelligent and connected vehicles. Here, what kind of experience will foreign journalists have? Uh, the, the first one, the introduction, how China is going to develop the automated vehicle system and how is it functioning. And then next one, to show people what will be the future of the, uh, I mean, the transport industry when they will, the China will develop such kind of vehicle. Yeah, I was amazed and surprised that it could be happened because it's a new thing for us and China make it possible. So when we saw those presentations inside, uh, it is quite surprised that the company has established in 2022 and within a short span of time, within two years, they have developed so much things. So thanks to them and we are so much surprised and amazed. I, I saw here in Chongqing, uh, um, these cars uh, were uh, produced in this city. Uh, the car, the name of the car was uh, the Li Fan. Uh, most of the people in Ethiopia like Li Fan because uh, it, um, it is fast and it is uh, durable. It is very simple to drive. It is comfortable to drivers. So when I came here to Chag and I saw uh, the innovation is here, I was very surprised. That concludes part one of the episode, Expand the Path of Opportunities, Share a Bright Future on Let's Meet. In the next episode, we will continue to follow the footsteps of journalists to explore another side of Chongqing. If you're interested in Chongqing's cultural and tourism and want to learn more about the journalistics views on Chongqing, make sure not to miss the next episode. Let's Meet, showcasing new Chongqing to the world Thanks for watching. Bye for now.